So we got a good team to spot the anaconda in the wild. Yeah man. different. Yeah, Steve is different. These are the biggest snakes in Suriname. The anaconda. We try to stay away from the city, Paramaribo. Paramaribo is like a lost city, if you ask me. Everybody's trying to look like they're from modern Dutch city, like Amsterdam or Rotterdam, but it's not New York City here, it's Suriname. Suriname is covered 90% with nature. You know, it's, it's, it's sad if you ask me, it's confusing this, this culture, you know, with this modern world. Bullshit. Her name is Shavella Lee. At just 20 years of age, she holds the unique title of being Suriname's first homegrown professional female fighter. And she intends to make sure all roads lead back to Suriname, no matter how successful she becomes. Glory 55 would not be Shavella's first trip to New York City. In October of 2017, Shavella had her last amateur fight in Manhattan. In that fight, Shavella defeated her highly touted American opponent with tornado-like speed, damaging leg kicks, and powerful punches. At times, she looked like a feasting jaguar in the ring. Shavella passed her final test with flying colors and was ready to become a professional. Dreams are essential to anyone seeking glory. 
Chevella's dream finds its roots in another dream, a vision that a fearless young Surinamese kickboxer decided to pursue almost two decades ago. His name is Angelo Simpson. The Simpson Gym dream continues on multiple levels. And with trailblazing fighters like Chevella Lee fighting under the Simpson Gym banner, there is no end in sight to a dream that started with an enterprising, tough young fighter almost two decades ago.